Yo yo people, Garrett Soon here for another video. This video is going to be in Farm Racer 19 and today we're going to work on filling up this police station with cruisers and vehicles and a bunch of different cars that our station will need. And the reason we're doing that is because if you look outside, we literally are empty. We don't even have one cop car, which means if we were to get a call right now, we would have a very big issue on our hands. Honestly, the only vehicle we have is this truck over here. And yeah, I don't think the Peterbilt's gonna be able to chase down any kind of car, not even a smart car. So yeah, we definitely gotta get moving. No offense if you have a smart car, but guys, obviously it's not the fastest of vehicles. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do is drive on over. Now, these vehicles are actually at the fire station. Uh, we used to do a series on this map that was all about taking out fires and doing heavy rescues. We've now switched that to a different series. So yeah, the fire station is completely cleared out. All the vehicles were brought over to the other map. So now there is lots of space for these cop cars and obviously the city owns both. So it worked out perfectly. But yeah, it's not too far of a drive at all. It's literally right here and you guys can probably already see that there are a lot of vehicles will be moving here today. I decided to check high and low and everywhere on these mod pages to find the best cough cars out there. And this is what I ended with. Now there are a few more out there that I even have in the game, but I wanted ones to mainly have like no exact station on it. Now, I think one of these might, but yeah, the majority of these are pretty generic. So there we go, let's lower this down. These should work good for Pretty much any patrol and let me run through what we actually got here so we started off with this now this is a police corvette i believe was made by lambo mods oh actually wait it, it literally says right right there how, how did i not see that this was made by lambo mods so very very cool uh just going to quickly mention he's a sponsor for this video but th none of these mods he asked me directly to use or anything i just love using his mods <laughs> uh but yeah so Awesome vehicle here. This is going to be great for any kind of fast chases. And here's how the interior looks. Very, very nice. I, I love the blue that they went with. And yeah, and then the next vehicle is going to be this. Now, I believe this is a Dodge Charger. Am I right about that? All right, I just checked the description. It says Dodge Demon. So yeah, we'll, we'll refer to it as that for now on. But very, very cool. I believe this was also made by Lambo Mods or Winston. Here's how the interior looks. Very, very nice. Okay, next we have this one here. Now this, I believe, was made by Expendables Modding, or at least I downloaded it from inside that group. And yeah, so this Dodge is very, very nice as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that about all of them, but it is true. And a blacked out interior. Yeah, look at that. It's completely different kind of style, even though the bodies of these are quite similar. Weirdly enough, though, this one is quite a bit smaller when you really look at them side by side. Like it's shorter and it doesn't extend as long. Interesting, okay. And yeah, and then this is the same as that, but it's just blacked out. So it's a bit harder to see us coming and it doesn't have a ram bar or anything. But yeah, very, very nice. Interior is the exact same, so I'm not gonna really show you guys that. Now this is made by either Lambo or Winston, uh, just part of the group, join the Patreon page. You guys know the drill. It is obviously a Ford and it's a pickup truck. Now this is meant to go fast. Uh, we have this roll bar it looks like interesting yeah I, I guess you could go off-road in some sorts with this yeah guys I kind of did choose this vehicle because it's a Raptor um I, I I love Ford Raptors gotta admit anyways the next vehicle is this undercover taxi now this is a Crown Vic it's very very cool we've checked this out many many times I'm not quite sure who created this I'm pretty sure though that they watch our videos because I remember seeing a comment before from someone saying that they were glad we checked out their mod. Uh, I'll obviously have this link down below as well in the description. And then we have this Grand Cherokee Interceptor made by Lambo and Winston. And then the interior looks like this. Got a scrolling computer, very, very cool. So let's go ahead, drive it onto the trailer. Enough talking. <laughs> we, we, I, I wanted to show you guys all these because often I get questions about the individual vehicles. So it's good just to get that out of the way, right? <laughs> Okay, we'll load this up nice and slowly. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, there. This is one of those older mods, so it drives a bit different than what we're used to now. 
it, it's kind of weird. Like, the driving mechanics of this game has changed three or four times in the past. It used to be the issue where the brakes would auto-apply, so that was very, very hard to drive those. That was by far, in my opinion at least, the worst kind of driving mechanic we had in the game. And that was at the start of mods. But then after that we had mods come out where they just kind of roll endlessly. And then I think now we're at the point where they just work correctly. So like new vehicles, just they just drive the way you would expect them to. Okay, we got this on there. There we go. Now we are a little bit close. I can also extend this if we want to, but I don't think we're going to have to do that today. And it also makes it a bit harder to drive. So we'll throw it on the straps. I don't believe any of these mods will be strapping down here. There might be one or two of the other ones that do. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but yeah, th these seem to just be kind of staying on here. So yeah, let's head on over to the police station. Again, it's not that far away. All right, we are here. There we go. Nice and bumpy. We still don't have a proper entrance path because this map is weird and it doesn't let us actually edit the ground right there. But that's the best we could do. We'll, we'll live with it. I want to definitely put the undercover car in the underground or in the covered area just so we can close the garage door because obviously if the whole city knows about us having an undercover taxi they're going to watch out for every taxi they see. And we'll just toss it on back here or drive it on I should say. We, we aren't tossing stuff this video guys. My plan is to not have to use a heavy lifting mod at all. But knowing how stuff usually goes that probably won't end up happening. <laughs> okay, so let's close this door right away. Now look at that American flag. Happy 4th of July, by the way. I know you guys have seen this, I think one or two days after, but either way, if you do celebrate 4th of July where you live, like if you live in the US usually, <laughs> uh, then yeah, happy Independence Day. And if you're Canadian, I, I hope you had a great Canada Day. That was July 1st. I saw a few people in the comment section saying happy Canada's Day. Uh, and I, I love seeing that because as most of you know, I am Canadian. So it's, it's glad to see you guys representing and some of you who aren't even Canadian were saying that, which that was awesome to see as well. All right, let's back this up. There we go. Okay, perfect. And we can fold on up the trailer. Also, I thought I turned off dirt in the game, but stuff's clearly getting quite dirty here. See, no, okay, I'm looking at the settings. It says dirt is definitely turned off. That is very, very odd. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and drive on back, and when I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Alright guys, here we are at the fire station. It's weird, we're going to the fire station to get police vehicles. Something you usually don't have to do, but hey. Once this is done, we won't have to do it again. All right, let's go ahead, lower down the ramps. We can hop on out, grab the next vehicle. I think for this load, let's do, let's grab the Raptor just cause we got it, right? Like this thing is too much fun to drive. And I, I love these extra tires on the back and everything. And in case anyone was wondering, uh, all these mods do have custom police lighting setups. I believe all of them have sirens as well. So yeah, very, very great mods. They were well made. But yeah, we don't really need the lights and sirens on it now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. But we'll just bring this on right to the end. Okay, so for the next vehicle, I know a lot of people are gonna want the Corvette. I, I was thinking to take it this time as well, but let, let's save that till we do our last trip. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab this right over here, this blacked out Dodge police car. There we go, and we'll drive it right on behind. There should be enough space if I did everything correctly here. Let's see. Ooh, it's actually going to be a bit of a tight fit. Come on. Uh-oh. Are we going to have to extend it? We might. Yeah, looks like we will. Okay. Let's hop on out, and then let me just go like this. There we go. Plenty of space now. <laughs> okay, fold up the ramps. Actually, you know what? Now we can bring it in just a smidge. There we go, lots of American flags in this video here today. I guess because we're going from a police station to a fire station, we're usually going to see quite a few of them. Honestly, that's one thing that I'd say the US does a lot better than Canada is 
you guys have so many more uh, flags and you show how patriotic you guys are. In Canada, we do have Canadian flags around the place, but nothing even remotely as close to as many as I see when I travel to the USA. So yeah, good job with that. And love, love seeing, like, representing your country and everything. That's really, really cool. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead, lower the ramps, and then remove the straps. Even though, again, don't think they really did anything here. And I'm going to put this blocked out dodge uh, underneath, like, in the covered area. Or, or garage bays, I should say. Just because this is, although not undercover, it is closer to that, right? Because it, it's a little bit harder to tell if, that it's a cop car. Like, there's no searchlight on the front. Obviously, you have your big light on top and the red text, but the black on black definitely blends in. Like, can you even read what that says there? It says something under police. It's, it's very hard to tell. Oh, there we go. It says protect and serve. Awesome. Hey, guys, there's another American flag. I, I'm telling you, there's like so many American flags on everything. <laughs> Yeah, we'll back this up in here. There we go. I feel like July is just the appreciate country month. <laughs> All countries seem to be having some kind of special day in the month of July. Hey, it's also my birthday in July, guys. July 30th. Put in your calendars. No? Okay. Anyways, let's unload this. So this is the Highway Police Interceptor, or what I like to call it, the Ford Raptor. Yeah, very nice interior. I like the red on this one. I don't know if I like the red interior or the blue interior we saw on one of the other ones better. Like, they, they both look so great. Red is my favorite color, but blue, I'm, there's something about having it on the interior of vehicles that it's just, it's not seen as much as red, right? So it kind of makes it a bit special. All right, there we go. We got it parked up. We can turn off the vehicle and fold up ramps. I'm also going to bring this thing in. There we go. We don't need it extended when driving back. Let's watch out for cars and get moving here. By the way, for anyone wondering about the map we're playing on, um, all this stuff you're seeing around us was built by us. Like we added these houses, we added in the dealership, the police station, the car repair, the forest, the farm, like all, all this stuff we literally added on in. So it, it, it's been crazy. You guys can actually find videos on the channel where we added all of these things individually. If you wanna check any of those out, feel free to do so. I believe one of the things was done in a live stream. I, I think the farm was in a live stream, but the rest was all just in videos. All right, here we go. Pulling up red on the side. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to transport this Corvette by itself, because there's no way, even if we extend our trailer, I, I don't see all of these fitting on. It's just too, big of a load for what we currently have here we go load this on up now for anyone wondering about the trailer i'm pretty sure it was made by expendables modding iconic upgrades might have done some work on it as well i'm, I'm not too sure how that all happened um but then the logos the gp logos were thrown on by a viewer i believe it was babcock farms if i remember correctly but it has been quite a while but yeah let's load this one up onto the trailer now this vehicle sounds so much better than all the other ones we have driven so far here today. I don't know why, but they, they did a great job on the engine sounds. Did any of these strap down? Uh, doesn't look like it. Now, the Corvette is our last hope for having a vehicle here strapped down. Do you guys think it will? Let, let me know in the comment section. When we grab the Corvette, do you think it will be able to strap down to the trailer? Based off all the other ones we've tried so far, I'm going to say it won't, but I know that is one of the newer mods from Lambo, and Lambo is big on adding the whole strapping ability to vehicles now. So, hey, I, I could definitely be wrong, but yeah, let me know, do you think the Corvette will strap down in the next load? By the way, guys, I know that we have the dealership empty right now, and the last video you saw in here is when we filled it up. The reason for that is it causes game lag if I keep these vehicles here forever. It's just better in general if I end up removing them after we've recorded whatever we had to. Here we go. We'll lower the ramp and let's grab these two vehicles off of here. Now obviously guys, the last garage bay is going to be for the Corvette because that is a very, very expensive vehicle for the department. 
and we do not need anyone coming by and messing with it. Now, I don't know how many people out there would go to a police station and mess with cop cars, but there are some very interesting people out there, so I, I could be wrong. Yeah, we'll back this one up. Now, I, I really like the colors we chose for this. I believe this is a pearl white, and I'm not quite sure which black we went with. Here, let me see if I can find it. Okay, guys, so it is a pearl white. I got that correct. And then for the secondary color, it is Dark Moon. So yeah, if you get this Dodge Charger 2012, then make sure you choose those colors if you want to get something similar to this. Anyways, let's drive this into a parking spot. I'm not quite sure why I'm putting space between each vehicle. It just kind of gives us easier access. And unless we need them side by side, why not just leave some space, right? <laughs> But yeah, there we go. That's starting to look very, very nice. We're actually looking like a police station now. Before, we were just kind of a white building with the American flag at the front. Okay, wait, wait. One, two, three American flags at the front. If you have not commented already, let me know. Do you think the Corvette is going to strap down? Don't cheat or anything. Don't skip ahead in the video. Do you think it's going to strap down? I I I'm curious what the majority of people are going to be thinking. My guess, again, is that it's not going to, but Lambo is full of surprises, so I could definitely be wrong about it. But here we go, the moment of truth. Final vehicle we have to load up, and our trailer is definitely getting dirty. We're going to have to wash it. Oh, and the truck. We're definitely going to have to wash it after today. <laughs> oh, the blue, guys. The blue is so nice. I love it. Yeah, you know what? The blue's the blue's my favorite. Again, red's my favorite color. That's not changing. Before the car interior... Blue has to win here today. Here we go. Let's load this on up. There we are. We definitely scratched the bottom, but no biggie. No one's going to see it either way. Actually, you know what? It's probably a big biggie because, like, it's going to be expensive if that was scratched up. And actually, guys, I just realized the brake calibers, at least I think that's what they're called, uh, they are blue as well. That is really, really nice. But here we go. Will it strap down? Let's zoom on in and find out. Yes, guys, it actually does. If you look at the wheels, they are going down. So if you guessed that it would strap down, you were right. Honestly, we probably even strapped this vehicle down a while ago. I just had no memory of it. <laughs> Let's head on out of here. Final vehicle for the day. I know, it's sad. But now our station's going to be ready to go. Like That is the main goal, and we've officially accomplished that objective. Yeah, turn out of here. Goodbye, American flags. Oh, wow. There is actually a giant one on the roof as well. So three of them at the fire station and three of them at the police station. I'm telling you, I, I don't see any Canadian flags here. We've got to get some of those added on in. All right, we'll turn this thing around. There we go. And let's unload it right here. There we are. Oh, wait. Got to remove the straps because this one actually works. <laughs> And yeah, let's bring this thing off of here. It's so, so fast. Oh my god. Here we are. All right. Nice and slow. Or as slow as we can go. Bring this into here. Do not want to hit anything. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video here today. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, would definitely recommend you check the description to find links for many of the mods used in this video here today. Also, you guys can find our Discord server link that now has over 2,500 members, completely free to join, awesome community. You can be notified when videos come out. You can promote your own social media pages and advertising chat and a bunch of other perks. So yeah, feel free to check that out. It's also honestly the best way to talk to me. On top of that, in the description, you guys can find our Patreon, our merchandise, our Twitter, Instagram, and the channel member link if you want to become a channel member to bypass slow mode in live streams. Plus you get exclusive videos every month, you get your name highlighted in the comments section and the stream chat, and final perk is that you can use custom emojis on the channel. Like you can literally have a Garrett Plays logo or a cartoon character of me to use as an emoji when you are commenting on the videos or talking in stream chat. But yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this Peterbilt and definitely wash off the trailer too. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye.
Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.